Hi guys, welcome to my closet. I've shown you guys this room before. We organized all of this and this closet here, which uh, is my boyfriend's stuff. I had a lot of suggestions to move his stuff from this closet into this closet, which is actually my bedroom closet. Um, however, we just don't have that much space. It's not quite as cute and pretty as it once was, but we just have so many hoodies and we just combine our hoodie collection because there's no sense in fighting it. it's gonna happen um and then i have denim and then my ftf collection back here i have like duplicates and stuff and then this is some of his stuff over here and then all these shoe boxes unfortunately those are mine <laughs> um but there's not enough room to move all his stuff here and move my stuff into the other one so if there's no problem being eliminated i'm not gonna half-ass do anything well Maybe I'll have to do this clean, but since we're all stuck at home, I mean, I'm stuck at home, you're stuck at home, we're all stuck at home, we might as well get to those things that we thought, hmm, I just don't have the time. Just don't have the time. And in addition to those two rooms with all of their things, I also have this area back here, which is where I bring in sort of new arrivals, if you will, and you might recognize this space because I like to sit here and film sometimes. And, um... This is just an office, and so I can't really use this for storage of my clothes, but what ends up happening is I get so many new things. You guys know I get so many new things on this channel. I do not allow myself to keep them. Maybe one out of every, like, 50 things I actually let myself keep because I just don't have the room because I have so much old stuff in there that I'm just, I don't know, attached to or something. So that's the plan for today, maybe tomorrow too, because my kids went to their dad's house. My kids, my kids. This is them. Little cuties at Disneyland. Yeah, not going there anymore. Well, not for a while. Um, so they went to their dad's house, and so I have two whole days of being home. And honestly, I've done everything. I've done it all. I've cleaned the house. I've laundered the clothes. Uh, we've got the groceries. I've prepped things. I've washed every piece of fruit in the house probably twice. And I'm running out of stuff to do, I'm going to be honest with you. So I am vlogging daily on my vlog channel. If you're interested and you want to head over there to watch what I really am doing every single day. Oh my gosh, yesterday I went to the stores with my mom. Whoa. <laughs> um, that was my first time venturing out. Anyway, though, let me give you a little bit of a tour of the situation we have going on here. This is the hat area. Again, I did organize this entire thing and show you guys where I got all this stuff. Um, uh, well, he could probably be doing better with maintaining that, but <laughs> that ain't none of my business right there. These are some recent things, semi-recent, going back to like the Gabriel, uh, Gabriel Union collection from FTF. I pulled out a lot of my faves, and this is just what I wish I had space for, but frankly, what ends up happening is it sits in my room for so long, eventually I'm like, damn it, Sarah, just get rid of it, you don't have the space for it, and then it winds up, my shoes, my shoes, my shoes, over here, which is just a sad looking basket, but this is all of the Poshmark stuff, so I just put everything in here, I give it to my mom, and then my mom, uh, she runs that Poshmark, so that's her gig, I don't know pretty much anything about it, <laughs> outside of what she uh, mentions to me, but anyway, we are going to go ahead and go through all of these drawers because I have them stuffed. The only things that don't need to get cleaned out are these trays. This is my daughter's tray that I got for her. This is an Ikea Pax system. Hello, home chic. Yes, thank you. Um, but yeah, this is an Ikea Pax system. I pretty much am happy with the organization that's happening on my jewelry and um, all that, along with my glasses. Yes, they could stand to be dusted, but beyond that, frankly... <laughs> We got a good system. And then I have this one, which is empty, outside of this belt that I will never wear. But it was very cute, and they sent it to me. In fact, let me put it over there, because she needs to get organized. But beyond that, all of these are completely stuffed. Like, your girl likes t-shirts. Why don't I just have two t-shirt bins instead of two for athletic stuff? When I am not being athletic, I'm being fatletic right now. Leave me alone. So, we're going to go ahead and organize this stuff. I'm probably going to go ahead and time lapse some of it, but if I see anything interesting that you guys need to hear about, I will tell you. I do have this big ass treadmill in here, <laughs> and um, the intention was actually to take this downstairs with the other uh, gym type stuff that we have down there, and we were going to flesh out a full gym, and it was going to happen last weekend, and it didn't, but at some point, I would like to add more storage. All right, guys, so I hope you don't mind the audio switching a lot, because I am going to be filming on Big Bertha over here. <laughs> there she is. This little gal right here, I always call her like my SUV. That's my Tonka truck. And then this right here, girl, this is my sports car. So um, we're going to go ahead and be filming on these different cameras. So like I said, I hope you don't mind the audio changing. Step one for sure, you guys, you need buckets, you need bags, you need 
boxes. You need something. So I'm going to use these two Ikea bags. One I'm going to start on donations. One I'm going to start on Poshmark stuff. And then that, like I said, is Poshmark stuff. So I'll probably transfer that. I don't have any big garbage bags. And, um... <laughs> It's fine. We'll live. <laughs> but basically all I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and start going through these drawers and just taking out what I know for sure I'm comfortable not having in my life anymore. I'm going to continue to buy things most likely if we survive this whole thing. Um, I am going to continue to buy things so I'm just going to try to make it easy peasy on myself. And if I have worn it usually more than two or three times, you really... If I've worn it more than once, I almost never send it to Poshmark unless it is like some really incredible piece um, or something that was very expensive or something that just like when I wear it, I only wear it for like two or three hours because it's like that kind of outfit. But a lot of this stuff, frankly, I'm tired of seeing myself in it. You know what I mean? I'm ready. Let's switch some stuff up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Me está sonando más que solo palabras Y si no las cumples, se van a desvanecer Algún día volverás, tú al lado mío Y yo de testigo, como son dos Yo, I'm already tired I've been doing this for four minutes My back hurts, I can't You know what, you guys, you don't need to be cleaning nothing Stay at home, read a book, color a book, take a nap, watch TV, order a movie that is no longer in theaters, but instead it's on demand for $20. <laughs> what is this world coming to? <laughs> Get it together, girl. You know what? Let me finish my cup of coffee. I'm gonna be alright. <clears throat> I'm gonna be alright. This is a drawer full of my dusty old shorts, okay? I got rid of most of them. You should be proud. But the other ones, these are just the shorts I wear around the house because... I, I'm, cause it's my house and I can do what I want. So, those are my dusty at home shorts. Um, but I didn't need 40 pairs of them or however many I had. Mm, I should not be sitting under these shelves though because I put them up and they will fall. <laughs> Moverlo sin pena ver, sin estrés, muéstrame sus pasos, te cuento hasta ahí. Hey guys, what are we seeing? That I now have two empty drawers. Yes, thank you. That was a weak snap. That was two. I can't snap. This is that Christmassy bin I was talking about. I keep it back there in the closet. Um, I remember it being bigger. <laughs> <laughs> or you know what I think I just wasn't storing all of my Christmas PJs in here as well but that's okay because I can go through some of these scarves because I don't wear scarves I don't care about the cowboys this is actually my sister-in-law's that's the only reason I keep it because every year I mean to give it back to her and then I never do so sorry Trini um but I uh am gonna try to get all that to fit in here like I said I'll probably take some of the stuff out then because the entire Christmas season I did not touch a single thing in here which means clearly your girl doesn't need it does she <laughs> No, I will say though, I wasn't trying to be nearly as cute as I normally try to be. Um, oh, and some of these things are so old. Oh my gosh. Sarah of the future, please insert the picture of Nala Ray wearing this in her adorableness. Oh, oh, it's so cute. My babies are so big now. They're like 17. Oh my gosh. They're not that old, but like still, they basically are. We're going to um, peel through some of this stuff and then I'm going to go ahead and tuck away all of my holiday stuff. Yes, ma'am, got it done because your girl is a Mexican and not a Mexican, okay? I did put some of the brand new PJs in here. I have some Victoria's Secret ones. Cute stuff, cute stuff. Come to the Poshmark near you. So down here I had all my thermals. Oh, no, I got to sneeze. I don't got it, y'all. Hang on. I'm good. Don't look at me like that. Him. Back to what I was saying. Down here I had all my thermals and I'm only going to keep six of them. Six or seven. Henleys and thermals. I'm just going to keep the ones that I know that I reached for this year. Um, this one needs to go because it's stained with laundry detergent. Do any of you know how to get laundry detergent stains out? Because it, first of all, what is that? You know what I'm saying? It's like getting burned by water. Like what? That's messed up because you shouldn't. That shouldn't even be a thing. Okay. But I have laundry detergent 
stains on my white one, but if it's so good and it's so nice. They're all from Old Navy because Old Navy has killed the thermal game and you don't need to go anywhere else. Um, so I am going to get rid of a few of them. I still like them and everything, but I didn't reach for them, so I'm not going to keep them. Same with these. Like, I actually really love these. They do nothing at all for my butt, okay? Like, it is not cute. It is not fancy. Um, but these were all from American Eagle. I got them in XXLs. They are so fun to wear in the wintertime because they're thick leggings. Um, but like I said, they will give you saggy, droopy booty, and it's not cute, okay? So, um, but I don't know because I still love wearing them. I don't care. Sometimes I'm like, okay, I got a saggy booty. Whatever. I got a man at home. I'm not, I'm not tripping. You don't need to like, like my butt, right? So I'm not upset about that. I also have these ones from American Eagle and then I have some from, uh, what is this place called? Old Navy. So I'm just going to go through some of these and I'm going to condense down enough so that I can get these thick leggings to fit right back there, which is not very much space. And that's it. Okay. Because now I got to work on like all these damn sweatpants that I have for some reason. And I just don't have space for all this stuff, bro. I mean, I have it, but like I don't have it. Because the fact that for the last, like, probably 18 months, I've been, you know, buying stuff and doing my normal content, like, on my channel, but I'm not really able to keep any of it, like, what? It really affects, like, my Instagram, honestly, because then I never feel like I have an outfit that I can, like, take a picture and tag it and post it, because, like, if I tag it, it's old, because all the stuff is from forever ago, because I can't keep any of my new stuff, so, um, that's not beneficial to me. Or you, if you wanted to, like, get something that I might be wearing. She's like, oh, that's cute, and it's plus size, and da-da-da, it'll fit me, whatever. I'm like, this is hindering my job, okay? Also, it's just a lot of stuff. I just want to get rid of some of it. It's dusty. Hi. Still doing my thing. I did exchange my regular coffee for an iced coffee. Selena! Selena's that key. My friend got me this. She's the bomb. I'm also stopping to have a burrito because we've got to keep ourselves, uh, our strength up, you know? Gotta keep your strength up. Gotta keep your strength up. <sighs> okay, back to work. All right, kind of proud of myself because I had two drawers full of sweats and I have narrowed it down to 13 beautiful pairs of sweatpants that I live in because I am a fashion icon. All right, my battery died on <laughs> that guy, so gotta replace that. But this drawer right here has some of my denim shorts, okay? I have a lot of denim shorts, I know, because I try a lot of denim shorts, and then what happens is when they fit nicely, I want to keep them because I love wearing denim shorts in the spring and summer time, okay? I do not mind these giant legs hanging out for the world to see. I don't mind it. I got to a point in my life where I was like, you know what? You're just going to have to take me and the cellulite and all the jiggle because we're going to be part of the world. So um, I have so many, though, because this is not the only drawer. Um, and those are from 2018. <laughs> and these are some of my faves. You can't even see because it's all blocked from 2019. And then we're not even that far into 2020. And I have a lot. Um, so I am definitely going to pare those down a bit and then... Um, yeah, then I can make some space for the new ones. Again, even though I love something, for me personally, I let it go because I want to have stuff that if I wear it and you love it on me and you're like, ah, oh, I want that, I want to wear that, I want it to be something that is highly likely to still be available for you to buy. And that's purely because of what I do for a living, basically. If I didn't do this, I would just keep the stuff that I love, 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 love because I love it and I'm gonna reach for it. Why keep that thing that, yeah, it's cute, yeah, it's whatever, but I never wanna wear it for one reason or another. Be super duper honest about the stuff that you are choosing to keep in your closet and why, okay? <laughs> like if there's something I picked up and tried on seven different times and I never make it the outfit that I wear that day, there's a reason and we, we don't need to cling to things that don't wanna be ours. <laughs>
of life. They are beautiful, they are wonderful. My whole everything hangs out, but they are so comfortable. American Eagle, thank you. American Eagle Express and um, Fashion of Figure is pretty much where I get most of my shorts. The ones from Torrid, they don't normally fit me very well. I don't know why, and you know what? I haven't even tried um, Lane Bryant's, but yeah, Express, man, they will deliver some beautiful options if you are within like an 18, and they have a pretty generous 18, so um, I am a big fan of their stuff. Oh, and I love Rue 21 because theirs are so inexpensive. Oh my gosh, they're so inexpensive. Guys, look at this freaking denim drawer now. This is incredible. Incredible. I have a lot of denim over there. Even the stuff that, so like I said, if I worn it basically more than one time, then I won't do the Poshmark. Um, but it's still like really great stuff, you know what I mean? And so I am going to donate it. I know you guys often will like email me message me, DM me, whatever, and be like, please give me the clothes, please give me your clothes, whatever, you know, you can, and, um, it's, it's literally daily, so I can't do that, but maybe there is something I can do in person, I can't be just mailing bundles of clothing to everybody, um, it would be like a whole nother job, <laughs> um, which is why I don't take care of the Poshmark, because again, the Poshmark is a whole nother job, so, um, I'm gonna try to think about that, though, because they're really great items, and, you know, I know it's hard to find plus size stuff, sometimes it really is or it's overpriced and super expensive because people think well you're fat you might as well pay more <laughs> okay fine um but this is beautiful i have like a couple of trouser shorts over here and like some summery stuff and then just three amazing pairs that i love and then this is like a little stack of american eagle ones and then this is a stack of um express fashion figure and rue 21 shorts before i did have them lined up like this you know marie kondo style or whatever but i'm gonna be honest with you that was not that was not the best method for me um so that's amazing my my you know sweat drawer is gonna be in the bottom this is moving up slightly just because like or i'm right sorry this is moving down slightly because you know i don't reach for shorts every day <laughs> um and then i have this whole empty one and now we're gonna get to work on these bras because <laughs> there are so many and there are many that despite the fact that they are gorgeous okay they're so cute i love them oh my gosh adorable literally with tags they just gotta go because if they're not gonna get worn they don't need to be here they don't need to be here for what give them to somebody else somebody else can wear it so for now i'm just gonna throw these like crop tops and tank tops and stuff back in here i am gonna organize them i just want to like see how much of them i have before i try to find a system for them and then i have um some cub shirts and stuff like that because we do go to the games in the summertime and you know I want to be cute or whatever when I do that uh so over here though like I said I'm gonna stick the bras that I actually reach for go for every day because I pretty much wear bralettes all the time I have one on right now oh my gosh that had a piece of plastic on it um I have one on right now so uh we're just gonna pare this down a little bit because this is a little much <laughs> So cute, Savage Axe, they know what they're doing, oh my gosh, it doesn't fit me quite right right now, but I'm getting back, girl, I'm gonna keep it. Oh, this is a brand new one, okay, brand new bralette from Torrid that was, let me, let's just talk about my poor spending, $32.90. <laughs> Okay, um, this is so cute, but every single time I try to wear it, it was a no-go. Same with this guy. This one's tight. Like, literally too tight. It's a Savage X bra. This one is just raggedy. Okay, I gotta get, I gotta get rid of this. We do need a pile of stuff that just needs to go. Oh, girl, you little hot booty. Yo sé que tú quieres moverlo sin pena sin estrés. I'll talk about bras real quick. So my favorite place to get bralettes, I do like Torrid. They're cool. Um, this one's from FTF. I get a lot from Savage X Fenty, although they do run quite small, so buyer beware. Um, I love my Calvin Klein ones. Sometimes they're like a little bit tight on my shoulder. It's like the, the I don't like sports bras as much as I like bralettes, and this is more of a sports bra style. Um, I do like them though underneath my t-shirts, 
and I had multiple sizes of all of them. So like I said, I've I've worked with Calvin Klein a couple times now, so every time I do, I get like a full set, brand new, and I just don't need that, you know. I love Charlotte Russe's um, bralettes and stuff. Like this one is so old and janky and raggedy, but I just loved it to death. And theirs are like ten dollars. So this one we're gonna fully get rid of. Um, but yeah, definitely a Charlotte Russe. Uh, Rue 21, a Torrid, FTF, um, American Eagle, if you got little boobs, well, not little boobs, but, like, for plus size, your boobs are on the, like, smaller side. Um, oh, Fabletics, they're bralettes, which they didn't call them bralettes, I don't think, but these things, these long line, like, oh, I, lo I love them. Um, and then from Target, I wear these ones, which are, like, not real cute. These are like the Hanes Comfort things. Like I said, they're not cute. Mine's kind of stained. I have one on right now. I have the pink one. I think I have a, I have a gray one on right now. They're super comfortable. Just, I don't need a lot of support. And so I'm just going to wear what's comfortable because if I don't need something all strapped up and wired up and everything else, then I'm just going to avoid it <laughs> because a bad bra will ruin your day. Okay. Just like bad draws, which I have explained to you guys many, many times. All right, all right. We're done with both of those over there, which is incredible. I'm not sure if I'm ready to start on my precious t-shirts because I love them so much. I love giant t-shirts so much. They're my favorite thing and I'm not ashamed of it. Okay, but I'm not ready to go through those. So we're gonna go through the active wear first because some of it is old, but it is trusted and amazing and it is good, okay? It is good, it is important, it is kind, all right? Um, and then some of it can just go because it's really not my favorite. And then, as you guys know, I had a an active wear partnership for a long time. And so there's just a lot that I have that I don't really um, need because I have a lot of duplicates and stuff. Uh, but I actually didn't keep all that much of it. But I'm going to go ahead and pare this down because, to be honest with you, I don't even work out like that right now. And maybe I'll get back into it at some point. But if, if I do, then my reward for doing that will be buying some new active wear. So um, I have a lot of credit or whatever to go online and shop for new activewear so uh i'm gonna be brutal with these drawers because it's not only this drawer it's also this one over here that you can't see let me point you down this drawer over here is full of nothing but sports bras so we're gonna go ahead and just pick up my favorites and condense these two down into either this drawer or just this drawer but hopefully well hell i don't know we'll see we'll see what happens Sé que tú quieres conmigo, amor, todos esos placeres Qué linda la vida que nos hace tan feliz Sé que tú quieres conmigo, amor, todos esos placeres I see these ones I'm gonna keep because this is like a set for me and then this is a set for my daughter that is identical um, and I always meant to do like a little photo shoot with her and I just never got around to it. I actually bought this stuff myself um, so uh yeah i'm gonna keep this stuff because it's just cute and one day i will get around to it and hopefully we both fit the clothes when i do because i bought that stuff like a year ago how i managed to get all of that out of this drawer i do not know <laughs> just kidding it's pretty much all getting donated or uh, going to poshmark either way um so i got these two drawers condensed down my friends into just this drawer right here i saved like four or five sports bras, my favorite leggings, my two favorite jackets, um, and then there's probably, yeah, maybe like eight, nine pairs of leggings in here. Um, nothing insane. They're all black because you know what? I wear black ones all the time, so let me just be who I am. So if I want to keep it, I'm going to just put it on the chair, and then if I'm good without it, it'll move on. Like, this one is brand new. I like this shirt a lot, but it's stiff, and I don't like that. Not $25 from uh, Zoomies. I don't know. Maybe I'll chop the bottom off, though. Okay, okay. Maybe. That's going in the maybe pile. Alright, so this is it. 
I cleared a bunch of it out. Look at how much more space there is in here. Most likely these things will get jammed over and I will overcrowd because that's who I am and there's no sense in changing that. Um, but my back row here is all my Cubs and Bear shirts now though, which is great because those used to be over here. And look at this, look at this empty, empty. What is going on here? Oh crap, now I gotta go through this bad boy and the bad boy beneath it, which is all swimsuits. Um, a lot of this, though, is probably going to go, I can tell you right now, that this is going to look a lot different in about 2.5 seconds. Blow! Check it out! Look how much less full it is. Okay, and it was not 2.5 seconds because your girl had to stop and make some food, so. I went downstairs, made a whole stir-fry, fish, it, it, was a, it, was a, it was a moment. But anyway, boom! Oh, Sarah, that's not that impressive. You already showed us that the, you know, drawer was, like, full, but it wasn't, like, full, 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 but it was, it was pretty full. Um, no, ma'am. There was an entire second drawer full of swim crap, and now it's empty, and it is, follow my hand, all of this. Um, and then I did put some of it over here down to about here is, uh, swim stuff, and then a pair of shorts and whatever. But anyway, um, <laughs> hi, look at all these empty drawers, you guys. Boom. Boom! Boom! There's a. Can I boom over there? Is there another one? No. But there's one here. Blood out! Ah, oh, damn it. I forgot that one had stuff in it. Okay, that's just like some lingerie. I'll be putting lingerie on, but you know. Whatever. We gotta keep it for appearances. It's fine. This is literally. I'm not doing anything with this. I don't care about it. It's just socks and tights. So I just really. What are you doing? Something must be back there. Yeah. I'll have to get that out later. But. Holy cow, look at this expansion we have. And this includes the new swim that I got from Torrid. Um, so, like, this stuff is basically all brand new. And then, just my favorite, 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 favorite pieces. I have never gotten rid of anything from a dormy. And I have purchased it all myself. It is my, it's gotta be, like, my favorite place to get swimsuits because they fit me so well. This one's from City Chic, Charlotte Roos, Torrid, Torrid, Torrid. Um, Airy, Airy has some cute stuff. Tori does a good job on some of their suits. Some of them need serious work, but some of them, like, they get me looking right. And then back there I have uh, cover-ups and stuff. So some caftans, some um, sarongs, some swim dresses, and then these are, like, my new ones from Tori that I showed in a video. Uh, yeah, that's it. I'm getting rid of most everything, though. Holy crap. Okay, and now we move on to the fun part, the stuff up there. It's what causes me to not be able to keep things because there's no room up there so i'm gonna have to figure something out like to pull some of that down into these drawers or get rid of it i don't know all right it is finally time to move on to my racks racks on racks on rack now i only have two obviously ma'am how's nini gonna be two and a half hours late to her own brunch but she be talking about other people being late I love her. Okay, um, I think what I'm gonna do because what can I do? I don't know. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. So I don't know. But what I do know is that my biggest thing was that I needed space here and here. That's here and here, okay? Um, because this is what I reach for. These are like my, oh, you gotta get dressed up and look cute and go out clothes. Down here is my, oh, be who you are this is who you are clothes okay shorts big t-shirts crop tops bralettes pajamas this is my everyday this is srb all day every day up here is i have a job to do let me look like i know what the hell i'm talking about so uh not sure what i'm gonna do but let's 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 uh let's hit that uh let's hit the time lapse we'll find out together <laughs> Que amas con hey, chica y si tú quisieras una sola vez conmigo hay que ser claro lo que quieres beber ya pasó tu primavera y el amor que se fue pero las ganas de darle aumentan cada vez Perdidos, sé lo que siento pero tú no 
two of my all-time favorite dresses from Express. Woo! Do you know how often people email me trying to buy these off me? The answer is no. <laughs> They're mine. done now this is probably was that a weird ending I forget last time I even checked in on y'all but you guys look at it doesn't it look like it's got about a thousand less pieces of clothing in there come on you gotta give it to me this looks way better the only thing I really didn't do is this area here I didn't really dig through it because I have nowhere else to put my jackets and I don't think those are like all my winter jackets <laughs> I live in the Midwest yeah <laughs> Buying winter jackets is basically a pastime for me because we have winter seven months out of the year. So um, I have a bunch downstairs in our uh, coat closet. <laughs> it's really my coat closet. Everybody has got their own little coat closet. I have my own little coat closet. So I have the other ones downstairs. These are more of like the fashion-y type. Um, and then I have like blazers and uh, leather, little fake <laughs> leather jackets and then button-ups, and then short sleeve button-ups, and then a couple of real cute shirts here from Express for when I want to get fancy. Um, and then I have a couple of windbreakers here, some cropped lightweight sweaters that I usually pair with shorts or leggings, and then a couple of kimonos, three of those, and then just some cute little tops, uh, mostly American Eagle and Torrid there. And then what I ended up doing is here, let me switch your camera. So if you recall, this particular drawer was a hot mess full of all of those bralettes. Well, I purged a whole bunch and now they are in here. And instead of this being full of shorts and this being full of nightgowns, this is just a mixture of the shorts, nightgowns, and little sleeping rompers that I think I should actually keep. Um, and then over here, I just have a couple of like sets and longer pajamas that I wanted to keep and then on the bottom instead of having all that Christmas stuff I just have my regular everyday leggings that I reach for all the time those will probably get bumped up honestly it's like three or four pairs that I wear at the time and then there's some thermals down there that I don't reach for but I do like the option so beyond this one oh I didn't even tell you this is just um tank tops lightweight tank tops stuff that I put underneath hoodies stuff like that and then um, just some strapless like tube tops basically and then underneath that we have some blouses and some like frillier cuter like you know crop shirts things like that but then over here this is a big change for me I took all my body suits off the hangers and I put it into the drawer so they are somewhat separated the ones in the back are all long sleeve um, but it's beyond that they're not really separated that much I will say I got rid of probably about half of my body suits so that's great and then this is the hose denim shorts that I was sorting through and then I have just four or so five over here um different skirts these are just like a fancier kind of skirt I almost exclusively wear these like in the wintry time and I got all of these last season so um just a couple of months ago and then these are my sweatpants and there's not a lot to talk about there outside of the fact that your girl likes to wear sweatpants my favorite ones are from Walmart <laughs> t-shirts over here you guys this was exciting for me to be able to like pare this down a bit because I was really overdoing it. And then another big change for me is I finally decided to actually take my jumpsuits, these are all jumpsuits, off of the hangers and pull them down. The trouble was that they're so damn long, they never looked good up here anyway. Plus they are, as you can tell, predominantly like darker colors. Um, but I know exactly how they fit. I reach for them all the time in the spring and summer, all the time. They are my go-tos, and then I have one romper back here that I'm aware that it's there, and like I said, when it gets nice and warm outside, woo, that is on my body at least once a week. Um, and then these are just actually pants. They're all from Torrid. I like their pants. They're like cropped, 
whatever. Again, I'm very familiar with these items. So, and then this is one set that I have, but I'm so familiar with them that I don't need them to be hanging because I know what to expect from them. And I know if I see them, whether or not I feel like wearing them. Um, and then this is my new swim drawer and it is just, oh, there's like barely anything in it compared to my normal. Okay. Maybe not compared to some people, but compared to my norm, this is like nothing. It's incredible. And then I have down here an entirely empty drawer. So uh, swimsuits coming at you one day whenever we get off of this damn thing. And then this is my active wear over here. This is still my bags and I didn't even organize them. But this is where I keep all my crossbody bags. This is my, no, that's not the one. These are my favorite ones. I have multiple versions of this. Uh, but these are just crossbody bags. That's it. And um, what are these called? Uh, like fanny packs and tiny like belt bags. That's it. I just keep them in this drawer because they're not that cute and I don't want to like display them with the others. Um, yeah. And then this is just going to be, I guess, like an intimate drawer for now or sort of a catch-all basically because eh, I just need somewhere to put this stuff and I feel like putting it in my bedroom. And then the bottom is still just socks. Now I would say the next thing that I really changed was up here, um, sort of. I definitely took all of the, like, thermals, all of the warmer stuff. I took it out, and I just put it with the other stuff that I have in my um, other closet. I have, like, all my cardigans, oversized sweaters. Very much fall and winter. I condensed it down, and I threw it over there. I will say that I still reach for my oversized cardigans and stuff a lot in the spring and summertime because when we go out at night it does still get cooler and so i'll wear a cute little sundress okay sundress sarah <laughs> i'm so excited she's gonna come back one day um so i have all my rompers and all my like sundresses my shorter ones and stuff and what i'll do is i'll pair it with like an oversized big cardigan so i don't want to pack them away because i'm not ready to like fully say goodbye but i do want to put them in the other closet which is very much hoodies and sweaters for me. Hoodie, sweaters, and denim I have in that other closet. Um, but over here is like my fun dress up, get ready, get cute kind of stuff. So that's what I have here. And these are my rompers. I'm obsessed with rompers, I really am. And then I have like sundresses and stuff. And then I start getting into like sheer dresses and like tropical vacation dresses. I have a bunch of those. And then I have like my okay, go get them kind of dresses. These are all new. I made sure actually to get rid of about 98% of what I had before because the fact of the matter is if I already wore it and I already took a picture in it, there's just a very low chance that I'm going to want to wear it again because then it feels like a missed opportunity to create content. And again, that is purely because of what I do online. If that wasn't the case, if I love something, I would keep it. Okay. I would just keep it. I would keep it. Um, and then I have my jumpsuits and like for my fancy going out jumpsuits, wear it to an event jumpsuit, go to dinner jumpsuit, nighttime jumpsuits, express yourself. Okay. Express. Express is the spot for me and jumpsuits. The length, amazing. Um, and then I just have my like super fancy little, you know, sequiny girls over there. Beyond that, I didn't really do a whole lot with the top. One, because I don't reach it and I don't feel like dealing with it. Um, but what I did do is look at this wall, you guys. Okay, the sun is literally setting now, so I'm sure that the lighting is atrocious in here. But guys, I only got rid of like one pair of shoes over here and I put one pair there. Um, I did organize <laughs> my mess of sandals. Um, I could still, you know, I need a vacuum. But remember all that junk that was right here? Gone, baby. It's gone. Now, just to end this here, guys, would you like to see how much stuff I am actually getting rid of? Because this is so exciting to look at. For one, because I know a lot of it um, will be, it'll go up for you guys in case you ever saw something on me that you were like, oh my gosh, that's so cute. I wish I could buy that. Oh my gosh, not available. My size, you wear my size, da da da. Um, okay, well, it'll be coming, I'm sure, to a Poshmark near you sometime. I don't know, this is a lot of stuff. I don't know how fast my mom be doing that stuff. But a lot of it's gonna go to my mom's house and then I have a ton that's gonna go to charity. And then um, I actually only had to get rid of like two things because they were like busted, busted, okay? You, nobody wanted, no one should have those items. So beyond that, do you wanna see it? You wanna see it? Okay, but before you do, be sure you like and subscribe and do all that because, well, you know what, you ain't gotta do all that. You don't have to do anything you don't wanna do apparently besides stay your ass at home but beyond that 
only do what you want to do. This is not how I normally look, but I was just coming to you, you know, real. <laughs> Quarantine reel here. <laughs> Look at how much stuff this is. It's a big mountain. I don't know if you can tell. Guys, this is so much stuff. I am so excited. I mean, we are talking like hundreds, hundreds and hundreds of items. Mad shoes and, un oh my gosh, so much swimwear, so many dresses, so many jackets. Holy crap. It's all gots to go. Hope that you guys enjoyed this video, I really do. And I hope that it just kind of motivates you to maybe get into your closet and sort through your stuff, see what you need, see what you don't need, and consider, you know, one, selling it if you're trying to make a little dough, I guess, or two, donating it. Um, I have a lot of stuff for sure that we will be taking and donating, so that's exciting. And I'm excited to have all of this space because that means once they let me out the house again that I'm going shopping, baby because I have had my eye on some things and I make myself not buy them, but not anymore. Mm -mm. I just enabled myself more than anyone else ever could have. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this and um, I'm gonna see you in my next video. What's it gonna be? I don't know. <laughs> if you have any suggestions, let me know. Mwah!